All you gotta do is plant your foot. And you're gone. This car has a three litre twin scroll turbo V6, producing 349 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Built to 60 is 4.4 seconds. As you can see, cosmetically, this car isn't totally standard. It has the honeycomb front grille that gives it the RS look. I've also tinted the windows, blacked out the chrome window trims, and also blacked out the badges and the roof rails. This is a car that just loves to go. Whenever you are cruising along in sport mode, it literally just drops the gears and tells you to hurry up. But of course, the only problem is that you soon catch up with everybody and end up, like I am now, stuck behind a Dacia. Move, Dacia! Go! You have an engine. Ah! I can't see. Now I'm gonna be stuck behind a Skoda. Foot to the floor, 10 miles an hour. Oh, 40, 60. It's a lot quicker than the Mercedes. <laughs> if you saw the last video, where 50 seemed to take an age. Oh, wheel spin. Go on, car. 30. 40. I feel like this full exhaust really just set this car off. It really makes it just something something else on the road. Because it has this great look about it. And the sound that comes out of it is just immense. I've done just over 6,000 miles in this car in the nine months I've had it. And I've averaged 19 miles per gallon. Which isn't a lot but it also isn't that bad. This is a car that's great in straight lines and it's great coming out of the corners. Not so much in the corners, it's a bit of a big old boat. It's around 15 and a half foot long. It has an eight speed gearbox and to be honest, I never really get into gears seven and eight because you're always putting your foot down and it always drops you down to fourth or fifth anyway. Maybe on the dual carriage where you'd put it into a different mode such as efficiency or comfort. But to be honest, I don't really use them. I usually just have it in dynamic sport and leave it at that. It dominates on the road, especially with this new grill that I've installed, along with all the silver pretty much blacked out. It really just makes it into this sleeper that's really dark and mysterious and then it doesn't power by. I can't click with my left hand if you can't tell. It does stick to this road like glue. Watch out for sheep along here and cows. There's cows on this road the other day. Size wise, the 19 inch alloys on this car really, really look good. I'm not so sure about the, the design. I'm thinking about changing them. You have to let me know what you think about that in the comments because I'm not sure what I should be looking at. It's not just the speed and the power and just the way this thing drives that is great about this car. It's also these seats. They're really nice, they're um, the super sport seat with the massage function, you will click of a button and you're having a spa day, it's beautiful. They're heated, you've got three different settings, you've got wave, stretch and knead so that if you want to be a bit of bread. Oh, there's a sheep. Hello little sheep. So if you feel like a bit of bread, you can be kneaded. You've got three different intensities on each, so if you want to feel like you're in a tsunami, you can have wave free, for example. Or you can have knead free if you want to be battered like a piece of pizza. And then you can be stretched out like a... On three different intensities. This car's in the brilliant black, which isn't so brilliant if you want to keep it clean. It gets dirty so easy. It literally just cakes. I only washed it two days ago and it's just muddy as anything. The way the exhaust just cracks and pops is brilliant. So good. Oh, the way it just kicks off, it makes your neck ache. Fart. It does that thing that you shouldn't do when you're eating. Fart in front of everybody. 
I should have fought in front of anybody anyway. Anyway, this leads us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please do hit that like button, comment whether I should change the alloys, and hit that subscribe button. Next time, I will be talking about the things that I love and the things that I hate about this car, with the majority being on the interior. So if you want to find out more about the technology in this car, please do check it out. Have a great day, and see you in the next one.